Ted and I have a lot of uh, policy questions for both of you, from city finances to crime to trash collection. But let's get this out of the way first. The number one thing people brought up when we discussed this upcoming debate uh, was questions about an FBI investigation. Mr. Correa, the Fall River Herald News reported you admitted the FBI is looking into a tech company you started. For the record, have you or anyone you are aware of been questioned by investigators yet? No, I haven't been questioned. I've heard a lot of rumors. I've heard a lot of different um, you know, distractions to really the progress that we've achieved as mayor uh, over the last two years. But to my knowledge, and clearly nothing has happened, nothing has transpired at Government Center. How were you made aware of the investigation then? Well, see, so that's the confusion. I didn't admit, I've, I admitted that I've heard rumors, and there's a ton of people, my opponent including, uh, many others that I have probably been affected uh, in some way by my administration, either positive or negative had been uh, chatting about this, but you know, to my knowledge, I don't know and can't confirm of anything that's happening. So to be clear, you are unaware now is what you're saying of a federal investigation? Correct. Okay. Uh, Ms. Pereira, I'm sure you're uh, happy that we asked your opponent about this, but some of the reason that this is top of mind is because you made it an issue uh, during the campaign. If Mr. Correa is cleared of any wrongdoing, will you publicly apologize? Absolutely. If he's cleared of any wrongdoing, I would publicly apologize. But the fact of the matter remains that at the Fall River Office of Economic Development annual meeting is where it surfaced that the FBI had in fact contacted individuals, the vice president of that organization, for information. I have also had communication with the FBI. The mayor would like you to think that it's I who began this investigation or Mr. Ken Fiola from the Fall River Office of Economic Development or the president of the council, Mr. Kadeem, that is false. The mayor has investors in his snow owl when he professed to be this great entrepreneur two years ago. And those investors haven't received their money back. They must have been the ones to go forward. But you can't do that. You know, I worked at the district attorney's office. The FBI does not spend resources on in. The FBI will jury. often ask a lot of questions for cases that Correct. do not go anywhere. They yeah. ask questions, but when it gets to the point that there's a grand jury set up as well, and we are you aware of a grand jury, or are you just saying that? No, I'm aware of a grand jury. Have you gone before I've the grand jury? I have not, but I have, I have seen summonses from individuals who have gone. All right, to Mr. The grand Correa. Jury. Obviously, this doesn't sound good to people. What is your message to the voters who are concerned about all of this? The message is uh, nothing has happened. Nobody can confirm any of this. I'm a couple days before an election. We have a positive record. We have a good record as an administration that's delivered more services to our taxpayers, has cut fees, has been able to produce things that people have not been able to do in the city of Fall River. The city has been plagued by bad financial practices, plagued by not being able to fund its schools and its, uh, and its police and fire forces, and now we're doing all that. We went from 500000 to an $8 million surplus. These are all the things that we've accomplished in the last two years. I haven't seen or heard of anything that has, has actually eroded that. What about the Fall that. River Economic uh, Development meeting that uh, your opponent well, just brought up? Let's talk about this. So my opponent claims that she's spoken to the FBI. We don't know if she called or they called her. We, uh, and the other, the other source that she mentioned is the organization that I defunded. So it's the organization so that sour I defunded. Grapes. Absolutely sour grapes. The organization that I defunded and the person running against me and the nephew uh, or cousin of one of my investors who ran against me in the primary. These are the people, these are the accusers. I haven't heard anybody come forward that has been a legitimate source that hasn't had an axe to grind with me. We want to move on to policy questions, Ms. Pereira, but I'll give you 30 seconds if you want to have the uh, final say on this. If the mayor doesn't feel that there is an investigation, why did he hire lawyers and made a statement that his lawyers have contacted and the FBI won't speak to them? That's why do true. you hire lawyers? And of course, the FBI is not going to speak to you. <laughs> Yeah, they're not going to speak to you when they have information and go to a grand jury. You're going to be the last one to know. They'll come and tell you when they've dotted their I's and crossed their T's, and it will happen. You can't start a business borrowing money from people and spending that money on other things except that business.